Praise the Lord from Pastor Strader at Lighthouse Church. Thanks for connecting with us through our podcast. Our prayer is that it's a blessing to you as we try to reach, equip, and mobilize Jesus' name disciples in Apache Junction, Arizona, and the surrounding region. Enjoy today's podcast and come back often. God bless you. We love you. It is 638. I realize we have a lot to get done. I don't intend to be long, but I can't speak for God. Praise God. Hebrews 10 and 36. Hallelujah. It is an honor to have Sister Gunn with us. God bless you, Sister. It's an honor to have you here at Lighthouse Church. This is Sister McKenzie's grandmother, and and let's do pray for her sister in the hospital right now in Tucson. And uh, we have been praying the past few days since we've heard that news, Sister, and just believing for a miracle in her life. Praise God. Amen and amen. It's good to have everybody in the house of the Lord tonight. Praise God. Brother Paisant, would you mind just quickly sharing what you share with me this afternoon? Oh, that's the kind of God that we serve tonight. Can we worship him right now? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I was so excited to hear that this afternoon and definitely after the one we heard this morning. And God just is so good. And uh, so thankful for that miracles, both of those healings and miracles. And then tonight, Sister Marianne brought her sister and family, and, and uh, we're praying for Patricia. And uh, my wife went to go pray for her, and we don't know, I don't know much about what she has had or doesn't have, but as far as the Holy Ghost is concerned, my wife said, I don't know if she had it when, before she came here this morning, but when she left, she said she was speaking in other tongues. I could hear it. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Even at a Christmas play, God, people can be filled with the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hebrews 10 and 36, I won't keep you standing long, for ye have need of patience, don't we? <laughs> that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. Say we live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but are of them that believe to the saving of the soul. 
for the next 10, 15 minutes or however long God decides. I'm going to preach on this title here. I realize it's not grammatically correct and I know that the picture is probably not that compelling, but I'm going to talk tonight about the stick outers. The stick outers. I realize Brother Brother Gissel is cringing inside of his spirit right now as I speak. Sister Parker, you're cringing. Amen. But we're going to just walk in the Holy Ghost tonight. Praise God. You may be seated in Jesus' name. The stick it outers. I googled the stick it outers and Google told me there is not many results for your search. So you know this did not come from MrGoogle.com tonight. But I felt so compelled in my spirit, especially the past few days, thinking about this church and thinking about each and every one of you and and in your different ways how uh, you have contributed and contribute to this church and to the kingdom of God. And, And I began to weep honestly about all of the things that this church does and even some of the newer people that are here uh, they are still trying to they have a desire to be used in the kingdom of the Lord and and they have not a desire to step on anybody's toes but they have a hunger to be used and to connect and to befriend us and to us to be uh, uh, friends with them and to be part of this church family and and for that I began to thank thank you Jesus that we have people who are willing to come, to serve, to love, to cherish, and to connect, and to lock arm to arm with. And, and thank you for those newer ones, the families that have come to say, we're here, this is our church, and, and we're here to serve. And I thank you and I commend you. I thank God for those who have come and have remained here for years. And, 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 and I want to talk a little bit about faith, because we talk a lot about faith. Uh, we, we ought to. We ought to preach about faith. And, and uh, we, a lot of preachers, in fact, my first message was on faith, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I preached it probably about, I don't know, 20, maybe 18 years ago, around this spot right here. My first message as I still lived in North Carolina and was just visiting Arizona. But we talk a lot about faith, and we know a lot about faith, we would say. And uh, we know that we are to walk by faith and not to walk by sight. We preach and believe that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We are a church that is a faith-believing church. We have to have faith that God will heal. We have to have faith that God will answer, faith that God will provide, and faith that God will supply. And we have seen it happen even here today where we have heard of three notable miracles in this church family and to God be the glory. Amen. We... I believe so much that we have faith that something can happen and that and that is why miracles are being wrought is because there's somebody that believes that God is still a healer. There's somebody in this church that believes that someone could come that we've never seen before like Patricia and be filled with the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. We read so much about faith, of the faith of Noah, Abel, Enoch, Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses. How by faith they passed through the Red Sea. How we read in Hebrews 11, how by faith the walls of Jericho fell down. And friend, there is no way around God's faithfulness to us. As we've already sang it, God's been too good to me to convince me. In fact, I'll just go out on the limb and say this. Enemy, devil, Satan, you've come too late to convince me. Because God's been too good to me. God's been too faithful to me. God's been too true to me. He's shown his power too many times to convince me he's not a healer, not a savior, not a, not a, not a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. You've simply came too late to convince me otherwise because faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. When I'm not faithful, we serve a God that is faithful. When I'm not all up to 100%, we serve a God who's always at 100 and beyond percent. 
When, I, when I'm feeling a little down and out, uh, there is a God that is faithful to hold me, to comfort me, to protect me. Uh, even when I don't believe in myself, uh, we serve a God that believes in you and I. Uh, somebody needs to hear that. Even when you don't believe in yourself, uh, there is a God that believes in you. It doesn't matter your pedigree. It does not matter your blood, uh, uh, your lineage. It all matters is that you love the Lord, uh, that you serve him, uh, and that you serve him. I'm telling you tonight, uh, I'm talking about the sticking outers. uh, And if there's anybody uh, that is a sticker outer, it is Jesus. Oh, he's been with me through thick and thin. Uh, He's been with me through my head, hard skull, uh, and everything. When I made some uh, un, you know, probably dumb decisions, he's still been there with me. Even when I had it all together in my mind, but yet I didn't, he still was right there with me. Hey, man, he's been there with me. He's faithful. If we confess our sins, the word of God says that he is faithful and he is just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness there is no one I believe with all of my heart that is lost that cannot be saved I believe God can save the drunk on the side of the street I believe he can save the billionaire here in Apache Junction I believe he can heal the child that is lost I believe he can heal the young people that are strung out on drugs I believe he can heal the families that don't know where to turn. I believe he can save anybody that he chooses to do. As Brother Caldwell sings, he can do anything that he wants to do because he's God and he's faithful. We read it that without faith, it is impossible to please him. I'm talking to a church that has faith. We simply would not see what we have seen without it. We have faith. I believe that so, so much. We may not have a lot of things, church, but we've got faith. We may not own the best. We may not have the best, but we've got the best in the Spirit, and that is the Holy Ghost, and with that is faith. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I, while I so believe that we have faith in the instant we believe that when we come to the services and that we begin to worship and we come down to the altar, we are coming faith believing that God is going to change lives and transform situations. But I've got to tell you that faith, the step, the faith to step out is simply worthless without the faithlessness to stick it out. I'll say it again. The faith to step out is worthless without the faithfulness to stick it out. There's got to be something in our spirit that says I'm here and I'm sticking it out until the end. Listen, he's not coming for the one that comes on Sunday morning, jumps and shouts and runs the aisles. But on Sunday night, they're nowhere to be found. On Monday, they're nowhere to be found. On Tuesday, you don't know where they're at. But he's looking for the one that says, hey, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm sticking it out. I'm telling you, he's coming back for somebody that says, hey, I may be going through hell in my life, but I'm sticking this thing out. I'm going to be the few that follows the narrow way. I'm going to be the few. Oh. (laughs) Oh. I'm sticking it out. Joe Lewis, the American professional boxer, put it like this. uh, You have to be tough and stick it out or you'll wind up being nothing. Let me tell you, church, I'm talking to not just faith-believing people, but I believe I'm preaching to some people who I would title the stick-it-outers, the people who are here, come what may. Whatever hell has to offer, we're sticking it out. Whatever this life has to offer, we're sticking it out. No matter what comes, I'm sticking it out. No matter how I feel, I'm going to pray. No matter how I feel, I'm going to worship. No matter what's going on in my life, I'm going to be here when that church door are open. Why? Because I'm not a fly-by-night Christian. He's been too good to me to leave out on God. He's been too good to me to stay home. I've got to be the one that sticks it out. 
until the end. He cut up ohoto she kalama. He got all of ohoto she alama. He told all of oh. I'm so thankful, Brother Ral, for the stick it outers. I'm so thankful the people that I'm preaching to tonight. I'm telling you, I'm, I mean it with the bottom of my heart. I'm thankful for the ones that come here. They play, they sing, they serve in the various capacities. I won't start naming because I know I'll, my goldfish brain will, will just forget somebody, and I don't mean to offend anybody, but I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for every one of you that's here tonight. You could be at home tonight. You could be happen tonight but you decide I'm going to be in the house of the Lord oh I thank God for this church that even when we're going through a new season new levels new devils sister we're going through it but we're here to stick it out well it doesn't matter what happens I'm showing up and when I get here I didn't come to sit down I came to worship I came to praise I came to magnify God Oh, I'm going to stick it out until the end. Oh, let me just say it because I'm going to have to say it to several who are going to stay here tonight. I thank God for those who will be here whenever the church needs some help. The ones that will come during the week, they've sacrificed hundreds of dollar bills. They've literally put them down. They said, no, I don't need that 500 or that 1,000 or that $2,000 job right now. It'll wait because the church needs something. The church needs something. I thank God for you tonight. I thank God for you tonight I thank God for those that come early and they practice and they sing and we're just trying to do our best I thank God for those that come here and they clean this very church they get on their hands and knees and they clean out the mold they clean out the dust and the dirt they don't worry about getting their name mentioned behind the pulpit but they're here to stick it out hey surely there's somebody else that could change out a toilet surely there's somebody else that can run a vacuum cleaner But if there's nobody else to do it, I'm here to stick it out because I intend to make it. I intend to make it. There may be nobody else to run the sound, but I'm here to stick it out. I'm here to make it. There may be nobody else to usher, but if God will allow me to do it, I will stick it out. I thank God for our teachers. I thank God for our Sunday school directors. I thank God for everyone who volunteers, who sets up tables. Sister Peters even came to me before service. What can I do, Sister Rao, to help set up for tomorrow? I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for our ladies who come here and they're willing to help. I thank God for you. I thank God for each and every family who's reached deep down into your bank account and you have sacrificially gave. You didn't have to give. You had a credit, you had a bill on your desk that you were going to give to, but God moved upon you and you sacrificially give to this church. I've come to tell you thank you. And you are the sticker outers. I thank everybody in this place that when these church doors are open you make every possibility to be here sure you could stay and sleep sure you don't feel the best sure you got a little sniffle nose and a cough but I'm not like anybody else I'm a stick it outer I'm the one I'm one that's going to be there come what may I'm going to be there I thank God. I'm being transparent tonight. I thank God for each and every one of you. You stand and you clap and you say amen to this preacher even when the preaching ain't even that good. I thank God for you tonight. I thank God for you tonight. I thank God for you tonight. Oh, I came here this morning. I'm going to just being transparent. I was just feeling a little down in my spirit, in my mind. But from the very moment, Brother Wasman, that you played that key on that piano, and I looked around, and I saw this church nearly filled. God said to me, stop your complaining. I'm bringing revival, and revival calls. Thank you. Thank you for sticking it out. Oh, can we thank God right now for everybody in this church? Everybody in this church. Can we thank God for our brothers and our sisters? Oh. 
I do. I've already said it, but I've got to say it again. I thank God for people who will turn down money all because they've got to be in the house of the Lord because there's a church in Apache Junction that needs people there to worship. There's there's a church here that needs people to be in prayer. There may be a lost person that needs the Holy Ghost and it's going to be the atmosphere in which I help create that will give them the power and the gift of the Holy Ghost. I thank you for that. And let me just tell you, under the unction and the power of the Holy Ghost, you may not receive a crown down here. This little message that I'm preaching may mean nothing and it really does not mean anything. It's going to fade away. In just a few minutes we're going to end and we're going to be right back at work. But I've come to tell somebody in the Holy Ghost, you stick it out and one day God's going to give you a crown that no man can give. God's going to give you a crown that no man can take away because you stuck it out. Because you stuck it out. Because you didn't give up. Because you didn't throw in the towel. Oh, oh, let's lift our hands right now and thank God. Let's stand right now. Let's stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost trying to encourage somebody tonight. Brother Crumweed was right on it. God's trying to encourage somebody here tonight. I'm telling you to encourage you. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. But you got to stick it out tonight. I know you're a little weary. I know you're a little depressed. I know you're a little uh, dissatisfied. But I've come to tell you, under the unction and the power of the name of Jesus, you got to stick in this thing. You got to stay in this thing. I believe God is about to give a fresh dose of strength to those sticker outers, those ones who have poured out. I believe before this service is over, God desires to pour into your heart. He desires to pour into your spirit. Why don't we do that right now? Why don't we lift our hands and say, God, refresh me so that I can be at my best for the kingdom of God. When we go into 2023, I want to be at my best. Oh, in the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit right now upon every stick it outer. Pour your spirit out upon everyone that desires to be a stick it outer. Someone that desires to be faithful and to be found faithful. Come what may. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Come on, there's got to be somebody like this little engine that could. You know the story. I was going to tell you all about it, but you know the story of the little engine that could. There's about three trains that came by that could have helped them, but it was left for the other little train. And you know what their song was? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And sister, when they got over that hill, it changed from I think to say I knew I could I knew I could I knew I could somebody you hear me tonight I think we can I think we can in fact with the power of God I know we can Every eye closed, every heart, every hand lifted up to the Lord right now. 
I know we do this often, but I want you to go find one person, not two, not three. I want you to be linked up with one person. Unless you see somebody standing out, get them in your circle. But I want you to find somebody right now, and I want you to begin praying over their life like it was our last service to pray together. I want you to begin praying over their heart and their life and ask that God would pour into them right now. Come on. Not every, not anybody, nobody should be out without anybody to pray for, for and with. Come on, we don't need the music right now to, to get us going. The Holy Ghost is here to minister right now. Come on, if you're, for, if you're looking for somebody, just, just go join. If you're a brother, join another brother, another set of brothers. If you're a sister, go join another set of sisters right now. Hallelujah. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Come on, we're going to stick it out. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Come on, don't just pray for somebody, but receive prayer. Don't just receive prayer, but pray for them as well. He called a Mahayeto see on the boho. Come on, something's happening right now in the Holy Ghost. Come on, you're going to make it. You can make it.